We're back at 840 with our special series, Get Into the Heart of Christmas, where we team up with Walmart and brighten the holiday season for some great groups. And NBC's Kristen Dahlgren's here with our latest installment. Kristen, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, this time of year, it's so easy for us to get caught up in our own hectic holidays and overlook those who don't have anything, not even a home. But an organization in Detroit called the Empowerment Plan is not just making sure the homeless have a warm coat, but showing how sometimes all someone needs is a chance. It was very cold and bitter, and people are cruel. It was rough. It was really rough. I mean, I had no water to drink for a couple of days and really nothing to eat. What do you do? Where do you go from here? Like, how do you pick yourself up? I felt like there is no way out. I was staying from house to house. Then I ended up going to a shelter because that was my last resort. Did you ever imagine that you would end up in a shelter in no, homeless? No, ma'am. It never crossed my mind at all. I went to private school. I had a partial scholarship. I was a scholar athlete. I didn't think that I would ever be homeless, especially with my son. No, I never thought that. And you don't know why someone is homeless. You don't know why they ended up in the shelter. Everyone's story is different. And a lot of the time, we dehumanize them. This year we want to do around 3,000 coats. 24-year-old Veronica Scott is the CEO and founder of the Empowerment Plan, an organization that makes winter coats that turn into sleeping bags to give to the homeless. What began as Veronica's class project turned into a mission. A woman ended up seeing the coats and she ends up screaming at me and saying, you know, we don't need coats, we need jobs. And she was right. So Veronica turned the coats into a company, hiring mothers from shelters. They can do anything. Their ambition is limitless because they're doing it not just for themselves, but their family. This is the first time I've ever felt really I belong. And I'm just not just a number, just making money for them, and it's wonderful. Especially this time in my life, I just turned 50 last month. I talk to every single person before we hire them and say, this is your clean slate. This is your opportunity to make whatever it is you want to make of yourself and with yourself and with your family. <laughs> Thirteen seamstresses are now employed by the Empowerment Plan, and they work at more than sewing. Right now I'm in college. They're stitching their lives back together. Ten of them now have their own homes. She knows that I'm homeless. She didn't mind sitting in the shelter, actually wanting to get to know us. That's like, no way. Like, we're supposed to be lost, thrown away, tossed out. No, not us. A lot of people feel sorry for us, and I don't think that's the way that they should feel. I, I think that this is an accomplishment that we made, so maybe they should look up to us. Look at us for who we are, not what we've been through. And so, for who they are and who they're becoming, Walmart has a big surprise for these women and their families. You are such an impressive group of women. We wanted to do something extra special for you. So the Today Show teamed up with Walmart. She's going to make me cry. And we just wanted to make your Christmas with you and your families a little extra special this year. So why don't you come on inside and see... <laughs> Even the basics were more than they could have imagined. I got everything. You are so special. I know you guys have all been through tough times and fought back, and we're so proud of what you're doing, getting your own places. And so Walmart has given each of you all of these things for your new home. They've all been given a second chance. Now they'll have everything else they need to start over. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Each of the women also got a thousand dollar gift certificate to Walmart. The empowerment plan got a gift as well. Thousands of dollars in office supplies, including a camera, iPads, new chairs for the seamstresses, and a twenty five hundred dollar gift card they can use uh, as they help grow. And you saw me crying there. These women really touched me. One of them said she had been sleeping in the coat that that they were.
going and giving away to other homeless people. She had an apartment. She still didn't have enough to furnish it. She said, this changed my life. Oh, oh my wow. God. So many great that. points in that story yes. along the way. Veronica, yeah. 24, starting it. Yeah. The yeah. coat. What an ingenious thing. And I love her for saying, I see something in you. Yeah. And Absolutely. giving them something that helps them rebuild their lives. And, the and they, you, you get to think about what they said. We're not, we're not to be tossed away. We're yeah. not, we're not we're disposable. We're fighting back. And you see their children. And you know that this is generational. Mm -hmm. This yeah. move helps that mother yeah. who helps right. her children. And it changes a generation. You change Break women, you change a generation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great Absolutely. story. Thank you. Well done. Oh, best thing you say you've ever Good. done, right? It, yeah, my, my favorite story. Beautiful. It was so nice to be able to help them out like that. Uh, love it. Kristen, thank you.